The House has just approved a major stimulus package targeting 19 states, bringing much-needed relief to millions. If you receive SSI or SSDI benefits, mark your calendar for September 3rd, as that's when the payments are scheduled to roll out. This update could mean significant financial support for those who need it most, so it's crucial to stay informed and see if your state is on the list. With the approval of this stimulus, many are wondering what this means for their financial future. Whether you're counting on this payment to cover essential expenses or looking forward to some extra financial breathing room, the impact of this decision will be felt by many. Keep an eye out for updates to ensure you don't miss out on any details related to this critical payment. The stimulus package approved by the House is part of a broader effort to address ongoing economic challenges faced by millions of Americans. The package aims to provide direct financial support to vulnerable populations, particularly those who rely on SSI and SSDI benefits. These individuals, many of whom live on fixed incomes, have been disproportionately affected by the economic downturn caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and subsequent inflationary pressures. The stimulus package includes provisions for direct payments, enhanced benefits, and additional support for essential services. The decision to target 19 states was based on various factors, including the economic impact of the pandemic, the number of SSI and SSDI beneficiaries, and the overall need for financial assistance in these regions. The states selected are among those that have experienced the most significant economic hardships, with many residents struggling to make ends meet. The Impact of SSI and SSDI Payments SSI and SSDI are crucial programs that provide financial assistance to individuals with disabilities, seniors, and those with limited income and resources. SSI offers cash assistance to individuals who are aged, blind, or disabled, and who have little to no income. SSDI, on the other hand, provides benefits to disabled individuals who have worked and paid into the social security system. For many recipients, these benefits are a lifeline, covering basic living expenses such as housing, food, and medical care. However, the fixed nature of these payments means that beneficiaries are often vulnerable to economic fluctuations, such as rising costs of living and unexpected expenses. The additional stimulus funds are intended to help bridge the gap between these fixed incomes and the increasing financial demands faced by many recipients. The scheduled payments on September 3rd are a critical component of this stimulus package, offering timely support as the nation continues to navigate the economic recovery process. These payments will provide immediate relief to millions of Americans, helping to alleviate the financial strain that many have been experiencing. Breakdown of the Stimulus Distribution the distribution of the stimulus funds will be managed by the Social Security Administration, SSA, which oversees both the SSI and SSDI programs. The SSA will work in conjunction with state governments to ensure that the funds are dispersed accurately and efficiently. Beneficiaries can expect to receive their payments through the same method they typically receive their SSI or SSDI benefits, whether through direct deposit, a prepaid debit card, or a paper check. The SSA has emphasized the importance of ensuring that all eligible individuals receive their payments on time, and they have implemented several measures to prevent any delays in the distribution process. In addition to the direct payments, the stimulus package also includes provisions for additional support services, such as housing assistance, food security programs, and access to health care. These services are designed to provide a more comprehensive safety net for beneficiaries, addressing not only their immediate financial needs but also the broader challenges they may face. The Role of State Governments State governments will play a critical role in the implementation of the stimulus package. While the federal government is responsible for providing the funds, state governments are tasked with overseeing their distribution and ensuring that they reach the intended recipients. This involves coordinating with various state agencies, including those responsible for public health, housing, and social services, to ensure that the funds are used effectively. Each of the 19 states included in the stimulus package has developed its own plan for distributing the funds tailored to the specific needs of its residents. Some states have opted to provide additional support services, such as financial counseling or assistance with applying for other forms of aid, to help beneficiaries make the most of their stimulus payments. State governments have also been tasked with ensuring that the stimulus funds are distributed equitably, with a particular focus on reaching vulnerable populations. This includes individuals who may have difficulty accessing traditional forms of assistance, such as those living in rural areas or those who face barriers to accessing government services.
economic implications of the stimulus. The approval of this stimulus package comes at a critical time for the U.S. economy. While there have been signs of recovery, many Americans continue to face significant financial challenges. The stimulus payments are expected to provide a much-needed boost to local economies, particularly in the 19 states that have been hardest hit by the economic downturn. For many recipients, the stimulus payments will be used to cover basic necessities, such as rent, utilities, and groceries. This, in turn, will help to stimulate local businesses as more money is spent in the community. The impact of these payments is expected to be particularly significant in low-income areas, where residents are more likely to spend the funds quickly on essential goods and services. In addition to the direct economic impact, the stimulus package is also expected to have broader implications for public health and social welfare. By providing financial support to those most in need, the stimulus package aims to reduce the incidence of poverty and homelessness, which have been on the rise in many areas. This, in turn, is expected to lead to better health outcomes as individuals are better able to afford medical care and other essential services. The Long-Term Outlook while the stimulus payments scheduled for September 3rd will provide immediate relief, there are concerns about the long-term sustainability of such measures. The economic challenges faced by many Americans are deep-rooted, and there is uncertainty about whether a one-time payment will be sufficient to address these issues. Some economists and policymakers have called for more comprehensive reforms to the SSI and SSDI programs, arguing that the current benefits are insufficient to meet the needs of recipients. This includes calls for increasing the base benefit amount, expanding eligibility criteria, and improving access to support services. There is also ongoing debate about the role of federal versus state governments in providing social safety nets. While the stimulus package represents a significant federal intervention, there is a growing recognition that state governments are often better positioned to address the specific needs of their residents. This has led to calls for greater flexibility in how federal funds are distributed, allowing states to tailor their programs to the unique challenges they face. Stories from beneficiaries' real-life impact. To understand the true impact of the stimulus package, it's important to hear from those who are directly affected. Across the 19 states, countless stories highlight the difference these payments will make in the lives of SSI and SSDI recipients. Take, for example, Maria, a 67-year-old retiree living in rural Alabama. Maria relies on her SSI benefits to cover her monthly expenses, but rising costs have made it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. The news of the upcoming stimulus payment has been a source of immense relief for her, as it will allow her to pay off some overdue bills and purchase much-needed medication. In another case, John, a former construction worker from Michigan who became disabled due to a workplace accident, has been struggling to support his family on SSDI benefits. The extra financial support from the stimulus will enable him to repair his home, which has been deteriorating due to lack of funds for maintenance. These stories are just a few examples of how the stimulus package is expected to impact individuals and families across the country. For many, this financial support is not just a temporary relief but a crucial lifeline that will help them navigate ongoing economic challenges, challenges, and criticisms. While the stimulus package has been widely welcomed, it has not been without its critics. Some have raised concerns about the effectiveness of one-time payments in addressing the broader economic issues faced by many Americans. There is also debate about the selection of the 19 states, with some arguing that other regions that have also been hard hit by the pandemic were left out. Another concern is the potential for fraud and misuse of funds. While the SSA and state governments have implemented measures to prevent fraud, there are fears that some individuals may attempt to take advantage of the system. Ensuring that the funds reach those who truly need them is a top priority for both federal and state authorities. Moreover, there are questions about the long-term impact of the stimulus on the federal budget. With the national debt continuing to rise, some lawmakers are concerned about the fiscal sustainability of ongoing stimulus measures. There is a delicate balance between providing immediate relief and ensuring that future generations are not burdened with unsustainable 